Resident Evil. If I haven't figured that out by now, I think something's been going a bit wrong. Well, more like if I haven't figured that out by now, I think it's a bit too late to give me the warning. Oh man, remember these scenes? The, uh, I remember that scene. I had none of these, but yeah, guess we'll be seeing some of this a little later. Cause... Yeah... I figured you'd go back and watch that, cause I haven't seen the beginning of this in a while. So anyway... Hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play. Blindly play Resident Evil Code Veronica with me, Oxfu. I know it's been a while. It's always been a while. It's been a while since we've seen that ghostly visage of Wesker just peering out. Being like he just wants to join the gang. Anyway, it's gonna be a little more while, because I'm actually gonna meet you guys in just a second. Because the place I saved last episode is unfortunately the place we started the LP. And it's really fucking dark. As you'll see in just a second. Yeah, I can't see anything, so I'm going to see you guys in just a second. So basically, what ended up happening is I am getting really good at these tank controls. Finally, three games, and I'm finally getting good at them. I can finally avoid a zombie. Anyway, what happened is I actually went back to talk to Mr... Wasn't his last name actually Rodriguez? Anyway, I went back to Lando Calrissian to see if he might, you know, decide... I don't actually... Oh, that's cool. Uh... Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. I, I thought that I could actually control her going up the stairs for a second. I'm like, I don't remember that. But then I was just not paying attention, usually, when I'm going down up and down stairs. Because I figure it's a, uh... It's not a mechanic that's going to change anytime soon, at least until... Well, I don't even know if it'll change during 4. I didn't play that much of the game. I don't even know if it changes in uh, the remake of Resident Evil 1. Anyway, enough uh, random tangents. Which way am I going? I believe it was this way. Anyway, what am I getting at? No, I bet I went back to the prison because I was thinking maybe... Was it Juan Rodriguez? I think it was Juan. I thought maybe, because we've already opened up all those aluminum cases, maybe he'd be like, hey, yeah, you want to trade your lockpick back for the lighter? I wasn't expecting that would be the case, but I was hoping, and it wasn't the case, so. My hopes were dashed. Surprise, surprise. As if, as if that should be a surprise in and of itself. Anyhow, um... I'd like to say that I spent the last week puzzling over what I should try to do, thinking, just thinking to myself, hmm, I've got all these clues as to where I should go. I've got all these items I could look through and be like, have I found a place yet where I could put this? I mean, I, I did with the King Anne. Obviously, we don't have that in our inventory anymore. The idiot that I am... I, of course, forgot that we picked up a painting, or a picture, the last episode. How the hell did I forget that? I don't know. It's, it's a question for the ages. More, no, it's a question for a few more episodes. So yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> There was a room, I think it's in this, in this, uh, mansion, where we saw, hey, there's painting, there's a painting missing from this wall, maybe we could put it there. And for some reason that passed right over my head and I just remembered, it's not actually here, it's in the military complex, for whatever reason, I don't know. It seems like, uh... Wesker just throws things all over the place. The place of the paintings would seem more like, I don't know, something you'd want in uh, the mansion. But no, it's over in the military complex, so let's get going, shall we? Finally, 
making... I'm not going to make that mis mistake again. I have seen the door this time. Finally, making some progress once again. You know, I've also been thinking. We went in the wrong door. Uh, we're going to have to run past dogs either way. Okay, I don't want to hear the alarm. That, that cinched it. Um, I've been thinking. We've been seeing Rocky, the snake, for quite a while. Snakey 3.0, if you would, if you will. I want to get a save and just go all out, see if we can kill him. Because, come on. I, I'm aware at this point that I don't, well, I'm assuming I don't have to kill him. Oh, more zombies. I can't see right now. I can't see. Please, just trust me that I can't see right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use those herbs. I don't, I cannot die from these guys. There we go. Okay, if I, I am equipped the pistol. Great job. Really showing you, really showing them how it's done. The zombies, I mean, showing them how to how it's done to eat. A helpless, unsuspecting person. Is this the door? Please be the door. I cannot see where I'm going. I think this is the door. It is. Okay. Cool. Aha. Ah, see, I should have known. I should have known. So we got the painting of the pirate. We got the other painting of the pirate. Let's stick that sucker right on there, shall we? Ha! Cutscene time. Alright, what do we have here? The gold key, finally. What else? A memorial plate. There's some writing on it. Dedicated to the training facility's completion. December 8th, Alfred Ashford. For some reason, we thought we'd hide it behind a wall. It's a diorama modeled after this facility. Oh cool, we can actually get a look of what it actually looks like. Interesting. There's a hole to put something... Oh. We're gonna have to come here again. I'm assuming it's secured with a simple lock. Use the lockpick. Yes, I will. What do we get? First, oh, that is... That is going to be useful. Alright, so I'm assuming that this is going to move out of the way when we put whatever in that we have to put in that uh, hole. And that, that'll let us get what it, whatever it is behind there. Yeah, we don't have anything we can put in there. All right, let's blindly go through this corridor once again, shall we? I can't even see them if they're moving. Oh, I got one. Cool. Oh, I see you. I know I'm using the pistol. I know I should be saving it. I, I can't. I can't. I don't have the bowgun darts, and... We got plenty of ammo right now. It was it was a worthy sacrifice of a few bullets. Besides, I've been using the explosive bowgun darts on. Uh, I keep calling them uh, Stretch Armstrong. I don't even know exact what they're actually called. I keep seeing it. I keep looking up what they're called, and I keep putting it out of my head like right away. Because why would you call something by that its actual name when you could call it Stretch Armstrong all night long? <laughs> Alright. Now we can finally open that, that mysterious door that we've been seeing ever since we first set foot into this mansion. The one on the uh, ground floor.
All right. Let us first grab... I think we have more bowgun darts. I do want to grab more, because I don't want to keep using the pistol on zombies if I can help it. It's just a bad idea. <laughs> I know that much. I don't want a repeat of either earlier in this Let's Play or earlier in the Resident Evil 2 Let's Play, where I was just had to start using uh, the knife. I mean, I guess I could use the M100P. <laughs> it's always an option. Oh, we are out of bowgun darts. Oh yeah, because I actually had to fight my way through a lot of zombies to get back down to Juan Rodriguez. Hoping that's his name. It's been a long time since we've actually talked to him. And by a long time, I mean like four episodes, probably. Okay. Ooh, actually, now that I think about it, have we gone down this way lately? Are there going to be new zombies? Okay, no. Figured because they were spawning everywhere else, maybe they'd spawn down here. Alright, let's see what's in the, uh... Okay, I thought I might get more out of that key, but I guess not. Let's see what's under the in the crawl space under the stairs. I know it's not actually going there, but... Any footsteps? No? Okay. I'm cool with that. Oh, what's up on this dais? Pure white candlestick. Something is written on the base. In memory of Ale Alexander Ashford's success succession... Oh, that's it. It's, oh, is that just another trellis? Uh, oh, message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Alfred Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. Oh wait, I gotta I gotta check something. Is this by his dad or whatever? No, it's by the butler again. Okay, I had to check. Uh Alright. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. Oh! Code Veronica, there we go. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve the glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise, Umbrella Inc. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance. Just as his face continues to shine eternally. Scott Harmon, Butler, Ashford family. Okay, so we get a cool vase. Is that what this is? I guess that's what it is. Okay. Oh, and there, there's one over here that's broken. Okay. Cool beans, I, I guess. Ah, a beautiful woman holding a tea set. There's a button below. Ah, is this a puzzle? Picture of a man, a pure white candlestick is also illustrated. There's a button below. All right, let's see who we've got. Because then, uh, is this the Code Veronica? <laughs> All right, so I know that...
Okay. I know that Veronica's first. And then weren't they saying, like, the earthenware plate? Man's portrait on an earthenware vase is also illustrated. There's a button below. T set. Okay. So that means... I have no idea what that means. I want to go back and read that file again. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that's the whole deal with this. <laughs> Alright. So, earthenware vase. That is Sir Alfred's. That looked nothing like Sir Alfred, but whatever. Alright, so golden teacup to Veronica. Stanley and his son Thomas were also presented with similar teacups. So I'm, I'm assuming that's the tea set. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Ooh, Arthur and Edward. Ooh, okay, this is actually kind of tough. Ooh. I'm expecting something bad happens if I get it wrong as well. So let's see, Veronica's gonna be the first. I know that. Is it good? Okay, so that's Alfred's dad. Uh, that's not who I want. I think this is... Wait, 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 wait. It passed to the, to the, to the brother. So I think, who was this? T-Set. Okay, so I'm going to say that this is Stanley. Not wrong yet, hopefully. Earthenware vase, that's the grandfather, I think. So this is the, uh, these are the two brothers, Thomas and Arthur. Okay. Whew, the camera change. <laughs> Made me think that something bad was happening. Alright, wait a minute. I gotta check that again. Bear with me for a second, because I gotta figure this out. I know you're probably all thinking, like, oh, just hit whatever you want. Come on. Okay, earthenware vase is Alfred. Okay, so I've gotten through Thomas and Arthur. Okay, Edward, I think, has the plate. Okay, I'm gonna say Edward has the plate. Uh, I don't even know if something wrong's gonna happen. Alright, and then... Earthenware vase is Alfred, right? No, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back. That looks nothing like Alfred. Uh, I don't want to get it wrong. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go back, go back, go back. What did it say on the first page? Earthenware vase is Alfred. So that's Alexander, and I guess Alfred didn't have a dad. Unless that's his dad. I don't know. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. There's no picture there. Isn't there supposed to be... Well, 
Did I get it wrong? Come on, help me out, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 not yet. It's the same child seen on the projector film. There's a message written onto the picture. Trace the Ashford legacy. Reveal the true master. There's a button below. Yes. So I'm guessing that... Fuck. So I screwed up. Okay. So I know Veronica's first. And then I went... I went with, uh... What's his name? I went with the guy with the T-set. This guy. And I went with this guy. And then I went with the earthenware plate. I'm going to try... Uh... Hmm. I don't know. Because isn't the earthenware vase Alfred? Yeah. So teacup first. Teacup second and third. And then teacup fourth as well, I'm guessing. Sir Edward. None of this tells me anything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh... Do I want to not hit the earthenware vase one? Wait a minute. No, that's wrong. Okay. Uh, if I have to cut some of this out just to... Completely broken. Uh, if I have to cut some of this out just so it's not annoying, I will. Maybe it's this way. Because he's got the two sons. I don't know. I was, I was figuring uh, the two sons were the ones who got it. That's all. Oh, 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 that's the other thing I got wrong. So I want to go earthenware vase uh, candlestick, don't I? No, because candlestick is uh, the dad. And then earthenware vase is Alfred himself. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's... Uh, da, da. Alexander Alf Ashford Succession. Let's try that. No. Okay. That... I'm gonna stick with this guy being the next guy, because I don't know. No, not that guy. Uh, maybe 
maybe deserve some more base first. Ah, there we go. It was the earthenware base first. I just was getting it wrong because I, I didn't know. So, <laughs> got an earthenware base. Uh, or, uh, wait, is this? Oh, this is Alexia. Ooh, wait a minute. So Alexia is the master of the family, not Alfred. I kind of figured that out anyway, because, I mean, Alexia was the one giving orders, so... I keep hearing Claire stepping out of the room and thinking that it's another person or not person, so... So we can bring, uh, that earthen... Are we bringing that earthenware face back to, uh... The military facility? Maybe? I don't know. We'll find out next time. On Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica with me, OXFU. See you later.